Hey guys, it's Scotty with Trek Pro City. Um, we're doing some spin bike stuff today and trainer stuff. And so we decided to do a video on like the most basic setup. I want to spin inside. I've never done it. I just want a really basic setup. So number one thing you need is a trainer. Um, this is not the most basic trainer, but close to it. It's a simple, not smart trainer. Uh, it's called the Saris Fluid 2. Um, retails for 400 bucks at our store. You can buy a mag version of this, which is similar um, for 250 bucks. So total entry level trainer, 250. This is definitely a trainer that's gonna last you like a decade and, and never let you down for 400 bucks. Um, it comes with the correct axle that you need. So you're gonna to need to put this in your bike um, as long as your bike has a quick release. If your bike has a through axle, probably most disc brake bikes have a through axle these days, um, you will need to buy a separate through axle for this trainer. So keep that in mind, because these can be a, basically a hundred bucks extra on top of this trainer. Um, but you have, if you have an older bike with a curriculum style, this comes with the unit and you don't need to buy anything extra. Um, so that's it really. I mean, if you get this, you, the only other thing you really need is to prop your front wheel up. So you could get a two by four for free and prop your front wheel up and hop on your bike and spin. Of course, we always buy things and then go, oh, what's the next level? What can I do more? So, I mean, a water bottle, like they're cheap and you need water, you're gonna sweat and you need to replace that. So water, basic, easy. Um, you need to pump your tires up. If you have a bike, you probably already have a pump, but if you don't, get a floor pump. Uh, this Bontrager Charger floor pump is 55 bucks. It does both valves. It has a great pressure gauge. You're gonna need to pump your tires up once a month anyways, so that is essential. Next level on a trainer, I mean a fan. So we got a fan here that, I don't know, we probably paid 40 bucks at uh, Home Depot or something. Find one at a, I, got, I found a free one at my in my pain cave uh, across the street at a garage sale. Um, so, you know, you don't have to spend a fortune on a fan, but you can go crazy on those too. Pedals, so your bike probably has pedals on it. If it has a flat pedal like this, you know, you can spin, you can ride a, a flat pedal, um, but, the next level is clipping in. So this is actually more of a mountain bike style pedal, but uh, if you clip in, you're in the same position on your bike all the time, so your fit is better. And when you're on your bike indoors, you can do single leg drills. You're really gonna maximize the potential of your spin. And so I would highly recommend clipping in. That can be a, a bit of a cost. You know, you could probably get a set of pedals and cleats for 60 to $80 on the low end. And so yeah, talking about shoes, this is a, a two bolt style shoe that will accept a mountain bike style cleat. Um, this is an awesome shoe for spinning indoors. It's simple, three Velcro straps. It's like 120 bucks, uh, clips into the pedals. Um, yeah, Bontrager Solstice, great option for indoor spin. A towel, you know, you probably got lots of old towels. Throw that over your bike so you don't sweat all over it. And a TV, something to entertain you. Uh, music, that kind of stuff is also, just makes it more engaging and more fun. Thanks for checking out the video and uh, yeah.